Okay, so in high school, stupid teenagers, right? Um, we decided to start playing with a Ouija board. Yeah, not a good idea. And we got bored with the little placard and it moving on its own. So I had this necklace. It was a, a stone that was in the shape of a lifesaver. So we were geniuses and we thought, hey, we'll take the plastic out of the little placard that moves and we set the stone inside of it. Perfect shape, fit perfectly. And we put a Sharpie in the middle of it. And we thought, oh, hey, we're gonna have this thing right at us. And we put it on a piece of white paper over the Ouija board. And of course, uh, yeah, it started writing words and stuff like that. And it started getting not so nice with its words. So we all freaked out. Well, uh, threw the board over and kind of ran away from it. When we came back, the stone was gone. Gone. Never to be found. I mean, we looked everywhere and it shouldn't have been anywhere else but within the board and by the placard and it wasn't. So a few months later, I was getting dressed for some event. I actually think it was prom. And uh, I looked on my dresser and sitting right there on top of my dresser was that, that stone from that necklace. Only thing is, it was perfect when I had it and when it disappeared, but there was a slight crack through it when I found it on my dresser. And it hadn't been on my dresser and it showed back up. Freaked me out, threw the thing in the trash, never looked back and never touched another Ouija board again. Those things are evil. Stay away from them. Well, one Halloween I was driving home and uh, came upon uh, a railroad track at a railroad crossing and a man popped out and blood all over his face and was trying to look like he was trying to scare the car I was riding in with a friend of mine but we got scared and when I, this was when I was in high school and so we just kept going and we were fearful of what was going on and feared the guy was just goofing off. Sadly we come to find out that uh, actually they had crashed the bridge we had then went over it crashed down the bridge and went into the water and that was the passenger in the car who got out and was all buddy trying to find somebody to help him with the situation and sadly the real driver of that car had passed away he was drowned in the creek again this was all on Halloween kind of a scary event for two high school guys and they were driving along a deserted road so right after I had my son, we moved into our very first house and we didn't even stay there not even six months because I freaked out. So many scary things had happened. So my husband went to work. Phoenix was asleep in his crib and I know I saw somebody in the window. When I turned around, there was this like black shadow figure just staring at me through the bushes. I couldn't move. I couldn't ask him any questions. I couldn't say what was going on. I just froze. He kept staring at me and then he put his hand up on the window and made it like slide down. And I wanted to scream and I could not. So I couldn't do anything. I was just frozen. And then I closed my eyes and when I opened him, he was completely gone. So I ran to check on my baby, make sure he was okay. We walked ourselves in the bedroom and didn't get out for the rest of the day. Well, the next day, my husband was off, and we were in the living room watching a movie, and we heard something come from Phoenix's room, and Phoenix was in the living room with us, and we looked, and I swear, there was a face peeking out of his room. That was the last day I stayed in that house, and I haven't been back.